Concentration, strength, and communication are important skills that any true leader needs in order to be successful. The Florida Gators soccer team learned this lesson as they faced many difficult tasks, such as learning how to make a sweet seat, which is like a harness with a carabiner on it to use on the road bridge that they also built and then get their team of 11 across the creek in the shortest amount of time possible. Team leaders Holly King and Sarah Chapman share their experience during this activity. Tell me about how you felt with old people screaming at you and did you lose any concentration or? Um, not really because they kind of told us that there was going to be a lot of pressure on us and we're used to that like during soccer games and stuff so you just have to like stay focused and because I was a leader we had to like come together and just tone out everything that was going on. Um, I didn't really like when they were screaming at me but I just knew what the task, the task what we had to do and we practiced it a couple times um, and I just knew what I needed to execute. Even though these activities might seem like a fun adventure, Many took the responsibility of being a leader seriously and used this experience to learn from their mistakes. Um, it was a big responsibility, I feel like, but um, luckily I had two other leaders with me and we worked really well together. We knew going into it that we had to communicate and assign roles before we started so that it would be less chaotic. It's all about attention to detail and the fact that you know we made a mistake because we were rushing through something just shows that, you know, it, we, you know, when we get stressed, our brains turn off sometimes. And, you know, we've practiced it three or four times. We come over in a time trial with people yelling at us. All of a sudden, mistakes are made. And, you know, we have to do our best to, to decrease those kind of mistakes. Opinion, I'll keep it to myself. U.S. Army Sergeant Hibbs was in charge of making these activities challenging, and he agrees that this team is one of a kind. My opinion, ah! what, the things that I saw that they did extremely well, is that they are one tight unit and nobody let anybody fail. If one was falling, uh, falling short on something, the others immediately came in and helped them. Ashley Elliott and Tay led their teammates to win the challenge and both agree that this experience was very important for them. Like, noticing that the, it was too short and I think that when it comes to a game like that, that there's going to be times when we might be down or we might be tied and there's going to be a crucial time where we're just going to have to pull it together and be like, you know what, we got this. I thought it was a really great experience. It, uh, it kind, of, kind of gives us some more versatility in what we're doing and kind of like a different culture outside of soccer and sports and I think it's a, it's a really uh, enlightening experience for me. For US soccer, I am Maria Lowe.